In this video, I'm going to show you how you can tag prospects within Pardot. So here we are within the Pardot Lightning application. Uh, the first thing to know about is where you can find all the tags that already exist within your system. So click on the Content tab, and then in the menu on the left, you'll see there's an area called Tags. And here's where you can see a list of all the tags and the different records, number of records that are applied to those tags. Now this tag area actually applies to, to tags throughout the entire system. Not only ones applied to prospects, but also those applied to marketing assets. Because I'm sure if you, as you have seen in other videos, you can tag an email or a um, automation rule or a template, that sort of thing. So you can tag almost everything within Pardot to help with your organization. Now when it comes to tagging prospects, it's actually, I think it's even more useful than just the standard tagging um, organization that you might do for the assets. But in any case, if you've got a tag, it's going to show up here. And if you click into the name of that tag, you can then edit the name and it'll be edited everywhere. And it'll also show you any objects associated with it and any prospects associated with it. So one of the benefits of using tags on prospects not only for helping you segment outside of just creating more lists, it also can add, act as a sort of um, a way to add a piece of data to a prospect without having to change a field. So for example, lots of people might have a field on a contact or a lead that talks about product interest. Now that's great once you know what their product interest is, but oftentimes because we can see what their activity is across your emails and your website, we can infer what their interest is. So if they're looking at a bunch of pages of a specific type of product, say product A, um, we can infer that they're interested in product A, but we don't really know for sure, right? We didn't ask them explicitly. They didn't tell us explicitly. Uh, it's just an educated guess. So in that case, it's quite useful to apply the tag of interested in product A. It's not quite as permanent as changing that field, uh, but it's still a way for you to essentially keep track of people you think might be interested in that, in that product for a potential campaign. So let's look at actually tagging prospects. If you go to the prospects area within Pardot, We'll get our list of prospects loaded up here. Uh, you can actually just check off the ones that you're interested in. Uh, and then you should be able to apply a tag. Click this little drop down arrow in the upper right hand corner. And here you can add a tag or you can remove a tag from just those people that you've selected. You can do the exact same thing within a list. So let's say we've got this list from initial Salesforce sync. And we check a couple of these people and we want to tag them with, you know, hand picked. It's just in a different location. Instead of that tag functionality being in the upper right, like we saw on the main prospects list, it's just below that list with this drop down. So let's say add a tag and we'll call this VIP. So put in the name of your tag and add multiple if you'd like, and then hit go. And now those three people, are going to have that tag applied. Now, if we go back under content and we go back down to tags, we should have a new tag show up and the ability to see all the people that are underneath that. Let's try that again, content and then tags. There we go. There's VIP and you can see we've got three records associated with it. So let's click into Jack Rogers here. Now, the other place you can change tags is actually in an individual prospect record. So you can see under additional fields, the very first one is tags. So if you edit this prospect, you've got access to that field and you can add and remove tags here. Other places tags show up um, are within automations. So completion actions, there's always the option to apply or remove a tag. Um, same thing within engagement programs. Uh, or even page actions as well. So they're ubiqu ubiquitous. They're throughout the system. Um, you can use them and apply them either manually or automatically. Uh, and then you can start using them within your list building logic uh, and other things like that. You can create a dynamic list that's solely based off tags, etc. 
So they're very, very flexible. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is they are Pardot only. They don't sync to Salesforce at this time, but within your marketing operations, they can really come in handy uh, when it comes to segmenting if you're not quite yet, if you're not yet quite ready to um, add a field, change a field, that kind of thing. Uh, think about using a tag as an intermediate step. So thanks for watching and have a great day.